moving on? Okay. Sorry, I took it off my pen. Okay. Hi, my name is Song Binan. I'm originally from South Korea, and I'm studying AFA animation at SCAD Atlanta. My name is Robert Joaquin. I'm originally from Nassau, Bahamas, and I'm studying an MFA in animation at SCAD Atlanta. So tell us about your film, New Tones. Um, New Tones was basically a short biography piece about uh, Sir Isaac Newton. Mm -hmm. And basically we wanted to explore the unknown aspect. I mean, Sir Isaac Newton was famous for his discovery on, you know, gravity and things of that nature. And we wanted to explore the aspect of his life that isn't famous, that isn't well known, which is his study of color and light and theory. So that is probably the interesting take that we decided to take on his life. It's digital film, and we mostly made it in um, Autodesk Maya. And um, we modeled, textured, and um, rigged in the same program. And, um, and for our post-production, we did all the, the compositing in, uh, in uh, Adobe After Effects and uh, Adobe Premiere. At first, um, I think it was Milena's idea. Um, she's in Brazil right now. And um, she was mentioning that um, uh, what, if, um, carousel, what if there's a carousel and on top of the carousel and paint kind of explode and there's all over in the scene. So um, that, was, that was our first idea she gave us. And, um, and, um, I, and I, don't, I think we all kind of suggested to to go to, to have um, puppetry types of style that animation because it fits really well with um, Isaac, Isaac Newton's um, the time he came from. Yeah. We looked at a lot of, I believe it was 17th century or 18th century marionettes, puppet stages, the carousel. That was one of the main visual elements in the, in the design. So. Everything kind of hinged on, you know, that being well lit and modeled and designed and everything. So the carousel was the key element in the design. We created the character in Maya, and um, the um, and um, it was much more easier to um, it was much easier to to rig it than to rig it. Yeah, because um, we didn't have to go through pain weight or, or the creation of Blend shapes or anything yeah. of that nature. Yeah. So, um, so, and as a result, it actually looked like a puppet. So we we are really happy about the result. Well, in terms of production time, I believe making the puppet, you know, making the character, say, a modular character in the aspect that we didn't have to paint the weights or make any blend shape of that nature. That saved us a lot of production time mm -hmm. and allowed us to focus on the narrative and other visual elements that were very, very essential in, you know, us finishing the film and, you know, pl uh, a please, uh, pleasing the, uh, the, it was profit media. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, we were trying to appease our, uh, well, the clients? our clients, yeah. that's, that's the best word to use for it. Our clients at the time who were Crawford Media, they had a big, uh, I want to say stake, but honestly, they... Um, it's, it's really interesting um, area to explore because um, I think that type of style gives um, that's the type of style I feel it's really imaginative, even though the um, the character's there, but it's not look like Isaac Newton. It's really st stylized. So when a kid or or adult sees sees the animation, they have their own like vision from that animation. So in that aspect, I'm really interested. Not really. I I did. Um, it wasn't it wasn't my 
puppet. It was uh, my cousin's puppet, but he hated it. It was um, one of the characters from Muppet. And um, he, I heard that it was really expensive, but he threw it away on the corner. So I just played with it a lot. And I really loved that toy. That's awesome. How well, about you, Robert? Well, growing up on an island, we didn't have access to a lot of fancy puppetry toys or anything of that nature. Uh, growing up, I can only remember playing with a paper bag puppet or even my socks using them as puppets, you know, coming from a rock where you barely have any access to any, you know, toys or any fancy things like that. You know, you have to use your imagination and use what's around. Uh, in regards to puppetry, I am very, very fond of the works of Jim Henson and a lot of the shows that he has produced through his time, especially, I believe, the longest running series ever, uh, Sesame Street. I still find it very interesting how creative they can be in this modern era.